The debate is raging. Is this high fashion or the height of bad taste? Socks and sandals. It's a distinct look that's splitting the country. Well, I think it's a mistake is what it's all about. It's just a bad fashion statement. Just doesn't look appealing. <laughs> Especially the guys that like to pull their socks up to their knees. That's just not pretty. <laughs> that's pretty ugly, but uh, I wouldn't wear it personally. But these guys are all fashion students. They're supposed to know. On the street, there is more sympathy for socks and sandals, especially from those who wear them. The snobs tend to rule the, the fashion circles, so uh, it's, it's up to us to just keep rebelling, I think. It keeps my feet warm when it's raining, and it's comfortable. This woman claimed medical reasons. I usually hate it. I'm really against it as a fashion faux pas, but I've been wearing them without socks, and I've been getting really bad blisters. While some even remember a time when socks and sandals reached fashion heights. I'm 26, I guess when I was 16, 17, it was the in thing to do. Wool socks and sporty sandals. But it's a controversial subject. Some say there is something hiding behind the socks. Well, the conclusion back here is maybe they got ugly feet. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it could be they have stinky feet or... <laughs> uncomfortable with the appearance of their feet, maybe. Maybe they should come have a pedicure and they'd take the socks off. Do you have good feet? I have wonderful feet. <laughs> You're not hiding anything? No, absolutely not. This woman is so against socks and sandals, she won't date anyone who wears them. <laughs> it's either you take them off or you don't go. And the folks on the internet agree. MSN says socks and sandals are the second worst thing to wear on a date. Number one was cut off jeans. This site even offers prizes and a certificate for the best photos. So love them or hate them, it seems socks and sandals may never be in style, but they'll always be an option. Hayden Jones, CBC News, Edmonton.